welcome to Sewing Anastasia. Today we're going to be cutting out and sewing a men's skinny tie. So there are four pieces that we're going to need for our self fabric. I'm using this tweed fabric here that's laid out on the table. We're going to need the two long pieces, one for the front and for the back of the tie. These two little pieces are going to finish the end of the tie in the inside. And then the additional pieces we need are going to be for interfacing, but they're these long skinny rectangles. So you want to go ahead and lay your pattern out on the bias, which is a 45 degree angle. So I've taken the corner of my tie here and I have put that parallel with the very end of my fabric. So that's going to be on the 45 degree angle and you only need to cut out one of everything. So go ahead, lay it out and let's cut it out. four pieces cut out and they should look something like this. Okay, so for your interfacing in the center of the tie, which is going to be these long rectangle patterns, you want to go ahead and buy some like horsehair canvas, something medium weight, you don't want anything too heavy and you don't want anything too light. So go ahead and cut those pieces out of this type of fabric. Okay, so sewing up a tie is so easy. You're going to want to sew everybody in your life a tie. Well, maybe not, but here we go. Okay, so I want you to lay it out as if it was being sewn together because sometimes sewing together two biased edges can be confusing. So if these were your edges you were sewing together, I want you to go ahead and flip them so it would be right sides together. So once this looks like a triangle in here, you know that you have your edges laid out properly. So we want to go ahead and my seam allowance on this pattern is a quarter inch because I don't want a lot of bulk inside of my tie. So let's go ahead and sew this up here a quarter of an inch. Always make sure you backstitch and there we go. There is our first stitch. I can't talk to it. Um, so now you should have one really, really long piece. Um, so I want you to go ahead and iron this seam here open. So we're going to go ahead and iron this open. So that way it's going to be nice and flat and not bubbly like this on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the small end first. So here's where it does get confusing. So what I like to do is fold this in half with the right sides together. And I really like to sew up here a quarter of an inch. Okay, maybe it's a half inch, but I like to sew it. Okay. Because when you go ahead and the tie, you know, wants to flip up into here, you want this extra piece to be able to go under so it finishes really nice. So now that I have that sewn up, you can see how this is going to want to fit into here like so. So now again, quarter of an inch, I want you to line up, leaving the quarter of an inch extra there. So that way when we finish it at a quarter inch, it's nice and smooth. You're gonna sew up to that last line of stitching we did. And then you wanna do the same thing on the other side. And I usually just start at the tip and then go towards the end. Turn it inside out and take a look and see how it looks. We are looking pretty good. So now you can see how we did that is bringing this extra fold 
of fabric into the inside of the tie so that way there's no seam on the actual edge of the tie. Now I like to finish off the point a little more so I turn it back inside out and I just want to sew down and readjust the tip. And then you can go ahead and cut off any of the extra bulk that's in the tip of that tie as well. So let's turn it inside out again. Nice. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and sew up these little side sections here. So let's turn it right sides together again. And then I want to fold so that it looks something like this. Be careful because your tie is on the bias, not the pull it while you're sewing it. So there should be a quarter inch here flipped up. So that way when we turn it right sides out, you still have that fabric coming up into the inside of the tie. Again, all of our seam allowance is a quarter of an inch. Go ahead and do both sides. Okay. And now, if we turn it right sides out, we should have something that resembles the inside of a tie. And we just need to do a really nice and neat pressing job. So let's go ahead and press that and then take another look at it. to go ahead and do the same thing to the bigger end of the tie. So take your big piece, take your big end, and repeat that process. Okay, so now if we go ahead and turn it right sides out, you can see it is finished now. And then again, we just need to go to the iron and press this flat, and then we are almost done. All we have to do is basically sew it up into a giant tube and turn it inside out and put our interface in. Okay, so now you should have both of the ends of your ties finished. You should have a small end and a larger end. And now what we're going to do is put our right sides together and where we have not finished a seam, we're gonna go ahead and just stitch up the tie a quarter of an inch and then turn it inside out like a tube. So you wanna make sure though that you're not stitching over where your finished edge is here. Otherwise, you're gonna get a really bulky mass right here. And then we're gonna go back at the end and do a few hand stitches and close up the hole there. So let's go ahead and sew this long seam up a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and we're gonna sew up the straight seam a quarter of an inch. You wanna make sure that your fabric does not stretch out or you're pulling it while you do this because it is cut on a bias. Okay, so now you should have a really long tube and it should look something like this. Okay, so next I'm gonna do something super simple. We are just gonna take our safety pin, 
put it through the end of our tie on the small end and I'm just going to push it through and basically turn our tie inside out. There's obviously multiple ways you can turn something inside out, but this is what I'm going to do right now. So you just want to feed your safety pin through and pull the excess fabric down. So scrunch it up in the beginning and pull it straight. So scrunch it up on the safety pin and then pull it down. This works really well if you're using a really big safety pin. I couldn't find a super big safety pin. So it's a little small. Okay, there's our safety pin. I'm going to go ahead and pull it and watch your entire tie turn inside up. So now you're going to end up with a squishy, fruity looking tie. And now we want to go ahead and go over to the iron and we're going to iron this out really nice. And then we are just going to hand tack a few spots and put in our interfacing. Woohoo! Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically sew up this little spot here so there's no raw edges possibly that are going to show. So I am literally just going to put a couple little slip stitches in here. And then we're going to do that to both ends. You can see we're still sticking up here a little. We need to go ahead and iron that down a little more. I think one of the most underrated things about sewing is that you really need to iron a lot and it makes your product look so much nicer and lay better and it's easier to sew. So making sure you iron in between all the steps really helps your product turn out nice. It's almost done. It looks really done, but it's a little flimsy inside, so we want to go ahead and put our interfacing in it. So I ran out of my interfacing. This is all I have left, but you're going to cut your two pattern pieces out of that, and you're literally just going to sew them together right there, and then you do not need to finish the edges of this fabric at all, and you are going to attach your safety pin to the end of your interfacing and literally just push it through and make sure it's laying nice and flat, hit it with a little steam again, and then that's it. Your interfacing literally just gets pulled into the tie and now we have a pretty awesome tie. Actually, I have a button-up shirt on. Let's see how it looks. All I know how to do is the single knot. So, let's see, right? Over, over, under, and through. Looks really cool. Thanks for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a really awesome tie. I can't wait to see what your ties look like. Make sure you tag me at Sew Anastasia on Instagram. Check out our website, AnastasiaChatska.com. Subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you later.